Pakistani minister claims cricket win is, quote, victory for Islam. On October 25th, Sheikh Rashid Ahmed, the interior minister of Pakistan, made a bizarre claim in a video posted on Twitter after Pakistan had won a cricket match against India. In the video, he is seen to claim that, quote, Pakistan's triumph against Vic Pakistan's triumph against India is a victory of Islam, and that, quote, all Muslims throughout the world are rejoicing. Many were quick to criticize the minister's response over a sports victory. The minister's statement has caused added tensions and animosity towards the Hindu minority in Pakistan. This statement quickly went viral and caused a significant storm on Twitter. Many were quick to point out that they didn't realize that India's many cricket wins over Pakistan were in fact victories for Hinduism all along. Um, I, so okay. if you guys I, 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 I are from India said, or Pakistan, I would love to see your commentary on this because yeah. I saw this blowing up on Twitter one day and I was like, we have to cover this. Yeah, I was going to actually say that. Somebody else already said this. So like, be careful with that claim because this is you're not going to win forever so if you act if you say this is a victory for islam then you're saying islam has been defeated are you going to come out and the next time india wins are you going to come and say that islam has been defeated islam has been defeated are you going to say that somehow i doubt that and you're right like um actually this is going to make do you think like next time india wins they're going to come out and say this has been a win for hinduism I, I bet there was going to be I pro probably <laughs> <laughs> so partially with me. Okay. People who know about cricket, please in correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know anything about cricket. I actually think it's like the worst sport there is. But it is. It's and, the worst. Okay, let me explain to you. Let me, it's, it's, it's the most boring sport in the world it's is so baseball, boring. but cricket is like, take that and make it longer. That's what it is. Okay. It's basically the most boring a longer version of the most boring sports in the world and that's cricket but go on um no i agree the longest cricket game is nine days long and if that doesn't tell you how dumb things are <laughs> who has who has the time anyways um so i went onto twitter one day and because i follow a lot of news agencies in the subcontinent i get a lot of stuff suggested uh to me on twitter of you know hashtags from the subcontinent and i go onto twitter one day and i see it just blowing up it was like hashtag victory for islam or something and i was like what's going on and i investigate and i see this and um he's presumably speaking urdu so i can't actually understand um him in the video but everyone was just like it was just freaking out about it um obviously because cricket is so huge in uh the subcontinent and part of what made this what so big was that this is the first time that pakistan has beat india like in a world series or something you cricketers please let me know um but what's also interesting is what happened on the other side of the border so to speak so in india it's been reported that there were muslims who were being um harassed by police or even arrested for cheering for pakistan during this game Amazing. and um i didn't have time to look more into those details but i know that harris sultan did a video about this issue is this a real ago. news is this a real news like people got arrested in india for cheering for pakistan this is not like a this can be like it can't get big. Come on, India can't be getting that ridiculous. Is it are things this is too much? I refuse to believe. I refuse to believe. Live chat, India, Indians in the live chat. Please tell me this is not real. Oh this my god. Well, let's let's take a little. Let's take a peruse. Wait, no this is fake news. I refuse to believe that the world has gone that insane. We're talking about the second most popular country Voice in the world. From Voice of America. Oh, okay, great. From wait, bring it up. From Voice of America, Indian Muslims arrested for celebrating Pakistani cricket victory over India. This I, I can't. No, no, I'm, I'm Indian. Leaving. 
police have detained or arrested at least a dozen Muslims for allegedly celebrating Pakistan's cricket victory. How is this a crime? What, which, which one of the crimes have they broken? What was the um, charge? Well, India is known for its liberal use of sedition laws. Hmm. I'm not even kidding. They're going to say that it's, they're going to try to say that it's sedition. Partially this has to do because um, some of these people were in Uttar Pradesh and three of the students who were arrested were Kashmiri. Amazing. It's, it's, it's insane. This is India, by the way. Guys, like, the if this state's was happening... chief minister said all would be charged with sedition and this accused could face up to seven years in jail. No, no. I don't have any comments. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to explain. I, there's, it just... You know, like if this was like Saudi Arabia, I don't know, Iran, Pakistan, the fact that this is India, the problem is like, it's, it's a sign of things going backwards. You know, when you hear about ridiculous things in other places, it's not, it's not that we accept them. It's we're looking at the relative to how it was before. I mean, like, okay, things are bad, but things are getting better. The problem is when, when we're looking at India and Pakistan, things are going backwards, like mm -hmm. heavily backwards. Like India is a secular democracy, supposed to be. What the hell? This is a joke. The, this country is turning into a joke. People are, go, people are getting arrested for cheering the, right side, the wrong side of a sports team, of a sports match. Is that okay? But the seven years is is a joke. These people are going well, to go free, that's right? Well, because like, that's the sentence you could face for sedition. Mm. No, I don't know what to say about this. Insane, yeah, insane. no, it's insane. So, like, this whole story is pretty crazy from top to bottom. One, just like I've. You know, I think we can all say like, oh, it's pretty ridiculous for this interior minister to just like claim a, cr a cricket win. Scroll as, up. as so we can see the title. Like a way to um, claim everything as, as Islam, right? I read a really interesting article by DW today about how um, cricket is a social distraction in the subcontinent in particular. So here's a quote. Sociologists say that ruling classes all over the world use sports as a distraction from real political issues. In Pakistan, critics serve uh, cricket serves the same purpose. During cricket tournaments, people tend to forget about misgovernment, misgovernance and staggering inflation and take refuge in nationalism. Cricket has become increasingly associated with politics in India and Pakistan. Um, and... Uh, uh, so basically it talks about how Pakistan is face facing one of the worst economic crises in its history. And it, Prime Minister Imran Khan has been, you know, criticized for using the rising inflation and the depreciating currency. But cricket provides this opportunity for the government, for the him, for his parties or the government in general to unify the country. So it's one of these moments where, especially in a match against India, victory is like that's something we did like you know everything else is not going so well but like we can we can pretend that we're this really great thing because we defeated these hindus like in this match like um but then on the other side in india like it's 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 even it's it's still so bad itself like in response to someone cheering for a foreign team you're you're going to charge them with sedition like, it's just so extreme on both sides. Oh, I see what you're pulling up. This is perfect. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Bring it. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I yeah. just, like, the, no, I just wanted to, have, yeah. Like, the, the, it's amazing because a lot of um, Hindutva people come here and defend India, and, like, they tell us we're exaggerating, things are not that bad. And I just like wonder, like, do these people not follow the news? Like, do they not see what's happening to their country? Like, do they not see that they're, they're turning to Pakistan? Like, this is a Hindu version of Pakistan. They're becoming what they hate the most. 
like at some point do they not think like this is like what has what are we doing to our country like do they not see that they're on the wrong side when people are going to jail for cheering you know the the, the wrong side of a sport when people are when they're people are falling in love and they're like separating people from each other because their religions are not the same when they're attacking weddings when they have making you know hindu women have miscarriage in the prison because their father is a muslim like do they not think like are we not like do they not ever repeat these people in india do they not consider like maybe we're like maybe there's something wrong with the way that we're heading like if they read a novel and they and they were in that novel wouldn't they obviously see that these are the bad people like these are the evil characters in the story like anybody reading if this was fiction this would be cartoonishly evil like this would be if this was like it's supposed to be representing uh, a theocracy or a tyranny or like a dictatorship like in a in a fiction and some people were getting arrested for cheering the wrong team people would be like ah make it make this more believable this is like too evil this is cartoonishly evil in like that doesn't happen in the real world but apparently it does but yeah cool. it's not just any team like someone in the live chat is pointing out no one would have a problem if it was just any other country but it's pakistan and especially muslim celebrating it's going to have severe consequences so that's a good point like if they were cheering for the netherlands or i don't know a new zealand they have a cricket team okay <laughs> like beating india like i doubt that there would be this level of consequence but because it's Indian Muslims celebrating Pakistan's victory, na Hindu nationalists are taking that opportunity to say, look, they're not even Indian. They don't want to be Indian. They're using, they're taking like some people doing this, one, arresting them for something like this, which is insane. And two, using that to demonize an entire group and say they don't even want to be here. They're undermining our country. They're not even part of us to begin with it's really yeah. it's really disappointing it's i'm really like stuff like this really makes me but this, about... this is against a self-fulfilling curse okay because they're like look these people do not feel do not think that they're indian you know why because of the stuff you're doing to them <laughs> maybe because you put them in jail for for supporting you know the other side of the uh, of a you know of it of a match like you know like they're like oh these people are loyal to another country and they're not loyal to india maybe if you treat them better they will feel more like they belong here <laughs> have you tried that have you tried acting like they're equal citizens that they're not like a lower class second second class citizens maybe like maybe instead of arresting them when you don't like what they do like you're pushing them away. And I mean, you like this. You want them to feel less Indian. You want them to betray, to feel, act like they're betraying India because you want excuses to abuse them. You get, a, you enjoy abusing these people. This is what you do. This is your purpose. This is how you get people angry, to, uh, angry enough to vote for you. This is how you become politically relevant. You need them as an enemy. So you abuse them so that they become even feel even more separate from the rest of India. So you could use it as a as an excuse to keep on abusing them. Like it's a cycle and it's gonna escalate, right? They both are feeding on each other. Anyways. I was yeah. thinking of attacking cricket, maybe we'll bring um, Pakistanis and Indians together. Yes, you against know, if we us. Keep, yeah, against us. Maybe that's how we unite them. If we keep attacking cricket as a lame sport that it is. <laughs> well, you know that's, what? <laughs> that's one thing that Pakistanis and Indians will agree with each other. And they maybe they will unite with each other against us. And that's how we bring them together. You know what that reminds me of? In the, the heat of the, uh, the sexy Cali blasphemy controversy, I remember seeing there was this guy on Twitter who was a Muslim and he was creating these scripts so you could run your computer and run this script and it would automatically report Atheist Republic content. And he like even made this available online so anyone could start using this to just automatically start mass reporting our stuff. And <laughs> he, he, when one of his tweets, it was a Muslim guy and he was like, you know, this they, they insult Muhammad too. And then it, it's a divided by religion, united by re reporting. <laughs> 
So we will single-handedly unite Pakistan and India over their hatred of us. How about that? You're muted. Okay, so I want to highlight this. Um, Atheist Republic has no show on Hindu genocide in Bangladesh. One can understand on their, at, as their upbringing under Islam left, what? Oh my goodness. Hatred for Hindus, idolaters, in Syria. We have had, okay, you're an idiot. We have had a lot of coverage of what's happening, what happened in Bangladesh against Hindus. We have had many, many news items. In fact, we have had, in, we interviewed um, I have Hindus in Bangladesh uh, to talk about their plight as well. So I don't know what you're talking about. I've actually okay, been look, making an effort if, to learn about the Hindu genocide in Bangladesh recently. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Is one interview a Hindu living under Islam in Bangladesh? The uh, another one we have is Bangladesh living better than India. We have another attack on Hindu temple spread. No, in but Bangladesh. those are usually specific news items, not the actual Hindu genocide yeah. itself. Yeah, but we could. Yeah, I, well, they're talking about the historical event. Mm -hmm. In the 1970s. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I, I remember you telling me that you're studying that. Guys, yeah, yeah, we cover news items about what's happening. So we don't have any news items about. Um, we don't ha we don't have any coverage that, that many coverages of historical events. When we do, we're going to cover all sides, but you can't. You can't act like we're not covered. We, we're not paying attention to the plight of Hindus uh, in Bangladesh. We have so many. Look, we have. So, we, this is a lot of coverage. So you're so MK Mish, Mishra. If you are suggesting that we're like biased in a way that we do, we ignore the plight of Hindus in Bangladesh. Look, you're an idiot. If that's what actually, you're saying, in like, fact, we're going to be talking about a news related to that in the next news story. Oh wow! Okay, okay, MK Misha, uh, Misha, you should go in front of a mirror and you should look at your reflection in the mirror, and you have to s repeat these words. Okay, why uh, I am such a moron? Why am I so stupid? Why do I assume <laughs> things without checking? Why am I so insane? Like, what's wrong with you, MK? MK, just ask yourself, what's wrong with me? Why? Uh, why do I make assumptions like this? I need to do better. I can do better. I can be better than this, okay? I can be better. I can stop being an idiot, okay? Try that, MK. See what happens, okay? Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Ababi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.